Hi there, it's Derek with the Hemet EdTech team, and I wanna take just a few moments to show some really cool updates that just dropped for Google Meet. Now, Google is releasing these in sort of a scheduled rollout, so um, not everybody will have these today, but they have been released sort of throughout this week, so you should see them pop up on your controls pretty soon, so let's dive in. Alrighty, so the first Meet um, update that has been released is what's known as Blur Background. So you can actually view that from this little waiting area before you start a meeting. I now have this little um, icon down here that if I click that, It'll take just a minute, but it'll start sort of fade my background out and blur that. And notice that if I do like a sudden movement, it, it detects that pretty well. Um, I can also access this tool under the meeting itself. So if I join this meeting and I come down here to um, these little vertical ellipsis menu and I click that, I have the option to turn off my background blur or turn it back on. So um, a really cool privacy feature. Um, this is something that you can probably anticipate having some student usefulness as well. So make sure that your students know that as it's released and you see it pop up um, to let them know that they have that option as well. So that's the Blur Background tool. Okay, the next feature that has been released is what's known as host control. So you should see this little blue shield now in the bottom left. If you click that, you've got a number of controls. Um, just starting at the top is what's called quick access. So quick access allows um, people within the domain to um, just be able to join your meeting without you know, having to see like a waiting room or, or an area where you have to join first. We actually recommend turning this off um, because you probably want to be the first person in every meeting that you have, um, either with students or family members. So um, if, if you toggle that off, that means that even if they're inside of Hemet USD's organization, um, they they have to wait until you're admitted first. So if you toggle that off, you'll be, you'll be required to be the first person in. And then you also have the controls now to let everybody share their screen or not, um, or to let everybody send chat messages or not. So I think those are two you know really important updates for privacy. These are more, you know, there's there's a time and place probably for each of those, so we don't really have a strong opinion as much as we do, like turning this quick access off. All of these, so I, I mentioned that little blue lock, they can also be found over in this vertical ellipsis. If you go under your settings gear, there is now a host control toggle, where if you click that, you have those same options. So um, that's, yeah, that's host controls and um, pretty, pretty powerful, I think, and, and something that's been, you know, long awaited. Okay, so sort of the final update that I wanted to mention in Google Meet is an update to its tiled view. So if you come down here to this little um, options menu again, click on that and then click change layout, you will now see that you have um, some more options. So it might be defaulted to auto for you. Um, under the auto view, the default there is to be able to see nine screens at a time. If you click on tiled, you can see 16, but notice um, that I now have this sort of um, toggle scale on the bottom that I can actually move this up and see even more. So it goes all the way up to 49. So you can see 49 students in your class. It also counts you as one of those squares too. So now you'll have visibility of yourself, which is something that was lacking um, earlier. So you can see up to 49. Now, huge improvement. This sort of um, supersedes the need to have that Google Meet um, grid view extension that was sort of buggy here and there. So now it's a built-in tool. The one caveat is that um, Google has not made this a universal feature. So, you know, you will need to do this for all of your meets. Um, and I think their thinking there is that people might be working on a, a big monitor one day and a smaller monitor another. So if you, know, if, you have, if you have a really small resolution, seeing too many people might actually, you know, might actually hinder your productivity and, and the, the people would be so small that it wouldn't be very valuable. Um, but there's also times when you're maybe going from a small group of students back to a whole class and you want to see more. So they've made this a setting that you can adjust, which is cool. But um, again, the caveats that you'll have to do it manually, but it is built in. So, you know, it is, it is a really good feature that a lot of us have been clamoring for. Alrighty, and the last update um, that Google's released actually has to do with Google Drive and their shared drives specifically. So if you're in your drive and you come over to shared drives, these used to be a place where anybody inside, so if I click into this educational technology and there's there's five of us in this shared drive, it's a place where if you're a member of this drive, then you've got access and I can change, you know, the access to, you know, different roles like, like you can with regular Google files. Um, the, the roles are a little bit different for shared drives, but you basically had to be a member of that shared drive in order to view any files of it. So they have actually tweaked that a little bit. So now I can come into, let's go to, you know, computer science and say, I want to share this folder with people who are outside of that shared drive. Now I can just come over here to share and um, like, like my typical sharing settings, you know, I can now, you know, change this to, you know, who I want to be able to see and I can copy that link and share it out. So I can share, 
I can share individual folders from within a shared drive to people outside of that shared drive. So where that might you know come in handy is if you're you're on a shared drive and um, maybe there's a group of you know teachers working together on you know a, a science curriculum, but you want to share it for review with another group of teachers who aren't part of that shared drive. You can sort of share it externally now through that link. Um, the caveat here is that you do have to be only managers of that shared drive can do that. So I mentioned how, you know, if I come over here to the people, if I click on the five people here, I can sort of see our roles. Only the managers can share those folders out. But now you don't necessarily have to be within a shared drive to have access to a folder within a shared drive. So um, sort of a sort of a weird rule, but it's, it has proved valuable. And we have had some teachers ask for that feature across the district. So it's pretty cool that Google released it. Okay, so there you have it. Those are some of the most recent updates, um, three of them in Google Meets and then one with Google Drive. We are expecting more, but we were actually, Christmas came a little bit early. These were supposed to be out by September 30th. So um, hopefully we get more of these updates throughout the, throughout the um, coming weeks and, and make Google Meet even a more useful tool.